Welcome to this video on clinical reasoning. This is our introduction one. We're going to give you an overview of the framework that we use when we think uh, when we're dealing with patients. And it looks complicated here, but don't worry. Over the series of next videos, we're going to break it down for you. Now, what clinical reasoning does is it takes you from patient's symptoms, so in this guy, case, this guy's head is pounding, to a diagnosis and possibly even a treatment. And clinical reasoning is the connection between the book knowledge that we have about diseases as well as the knowledge that we collect from our patients uh, and allows us to take both of those things, synthesize them into a diagnosis and treatment. So the framework really is a cycle of data gathering and hypothesis testing. We do this over and over and over again until we're able to achieve a diagnosis that we can treat. And we can get data from various different sources. We can get uh, data from uh, the paramedics or the chief complaint or the nurses. We can get it from questions that we ask the patient. That's called history. We can get it from listening to their lungs, listening to their heart, pressing on their belly. That's called the physical exam. And there are other tests that we can do, things like a chest x-ray or an EKG or a CAT scan. And what we do is we cycle through this data gathering hypothesis testing cycle over and over and over again, uh, first starting with initial data, and then we gather data from history, then we gather data from the physical exam and additional tests until we finally achieve a diagnosis that we can treat. Uh, with data gathering, the first, it really includes two steps, acquiring data, that means which, you know, getting the data, you got to know which data to get, and you got to be able to get it correctly, as well as interpreting and organizing it, so making sense of that information that you got. Hypothesis testing, uh, for in medicine, hypothesis really means a diagnosis. That's what this little DX stands for. It stands for diagnosis. And a differential diagnosis is a list of possibilities, a list of hypotheses. So we need to make a list of possibilities, and then we need to test those list of possibilities against the data that we've acquired and interpreted and uh, from up here. And we do that until we, and we try to sort the diagnoses into one of three different categories. The first one is trash it. And that means you have enough evidence to say that th your patient does not have this diagnosis. And in medical parlance, we call that ruled out. Alternatively, you may have enough data to confirm a diagnosis so that you could start treating it. And we call that ruled in. And if you're somewhere in the middle where you don't have enough information to rule it in and you don't have enough information to rule it out, well, then you need to gather more data and test more data. So I put that here as test it. And so we're going to go through all of these steps one by one, but there's obviously you know, a lot more detail that goes into each one of these. But this is the framework that we're going to use for uh, clinical reasoning. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.